Exciting. First, though, QuickFit, the UK's biggest car service and repair chain, 570 branches, nearly £98 million in profit last year, and a talking car in their ads. Down a bit, just there. Oh, and uh, buy new brake pads or shoes, and we'll replace them for free for as long as you own the car. That's wonderful. Thank you, Michael. It's Derek. It doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Indeed, but if the car could really speak, it might tell us a few more things, like overcharging and big bills for work that doesn't need doing. Don Littlewood reports. Their branches are dotted around the country, and so are their dissatisfied customers, complaining to us about high bills, low service standards or both. Customers like Len Henderson, who booked his Volvo into a quick fit centre in Reading for a routine oil and filter change. Quick? Certainly not. After three quarters of an hour, I inquired why, what the delay was for a simple oil change and, and filter change, and they said they were obliged to do a complete check, which I accepted, for safety reasons. QuickFit then claimed their complete check had revealed the need for more work, including two new front brakes. To that I responded, I will pay you for what I arranged for, which I did, and they said, if you take the car away as it is, it is dangerous. If you want to do that, that's down to you. And I said, OK, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that. Len drove away and kept hold of his money. Three months later, having had no problems with the car, he booked an MOT at his local garage. I pointed out to them what QuickFit had said. In fact, I gave them the report. And I said, while you're doing the MOT, will you please make sure that you pay particular attention to those items that QuickFit mentioned? And they did. And they came back sometime later and said, there is absolutely nothing whatsoever wrong with your vehicle. So, who was right? QuickFit or Len's local garage? We sent in expert car engineer John Dabek to examine Len's car. Well, I discovered that the front brakes on his car were absolutely perfectly functional, no problems at all. So, quick fit quoted for work that wasn't needed. And sadly, this wasn't a one-off. When Malcolm Charnock's car developed an exhaust problem, he took it to a quick fit garage in South End. I left the car with them, uh, asked them to have a look at what needed doing to the exhaust. Um, I, I was hoping uh, that it was going to be something straightforward. QuickFit had other ideas. They told me then that it would cost uh, almost £150 uh, to replace the back section of the exhaust. Um, it could also require replacement at the middle section, but they wouldn't be able to confirm that until they took the back section off and started the work. Unsure about this diagnosis, Malcolm took the car to another garage. Their verdict? No damage to the exhaust. All it needed was a replacement clamp costing £15, ten times less than QuickFit's quote. And again, our expert agreed they'd try to charge for work that didn't need doing. The exhaust repair, in this case, that was necessary was the replacement of the clamp. Nothing more, nothing less. All quick-fit garages conform to the company's code of practice. This says vehicles will be fully inspected ahead of any repairs and that all work will be agreed with the owners beforehand. But QuickFit also says it's sometimes a matter of opinion whether a part needs replacing and says customers are free to get one. Joanne Hanscom is glad she did. She took her Mitsubishi to a QuickFit in Hastings to have its aircon, tyres and squeaky wheel checked over. Their opinion? They also said that it needed front brake discs and pads and it, that it also needed rear brake drums and cylinders, which they said had started leaking. QuickFit quoted £650 for this work and advised her to get it done for safety reasons. She agreed, but then had second thoughts and took it to her local Mitsubishi garage instead. The mechanic actually came out to see me and he said that none of the work that was quoted was necessary uh, for the brakes, either front or rear. I must say I wasn't prepared to let it lie um, because I felt so cross about it um, that I emailed QuickFit on their website. The company responded, apologised and said they had investigated, later sending her £250 worth of QuickFit vouchers. But what if she hadn't got that second opinion? If 
I hadn't questioned it and just thought they're the mechanics, they know what they're talking about, I would have parted with my money and been none the wiser. I'm pleased that they gave me £250 worth of vouchers, however, it could have cost me £650. A big enough bill at any time, but for repairs that didn't need doing, it'd take more than a few vouchers to put that right. OK, that's what QuickFit has done to you. Now it's the turn of Watchdog. We sent 10 cars for service at 10 different QuickFit garages. We already knew about the company overcharging. What we weren't prepared for was dishonesty and negligence. These are our 10 cars. Our expert John Dabek checked all the cars before we booked them into QuickFit branches up and down the country. The cost of a full service, up to £185 each. The results, shocking. Here was his verdict on one of them. Probably the worst service I've seen for a long time. On two out of the ten services, QuickFit attempted to charge us for unnecessary extra work. They claimed this Ford car needed new rear shock absorbers, upper mountings, springs and lower suspension arms. Total cost £588, but completely unnecessary. There is no reason at all to replace this shock absorber or spring other than to line somebody's pockets. They also charged us for work they hadn't done. £28.95 for wheel alignment or tracking. No adjustment has been carried out to the tracking on this car. Amazed? Yes. Impressed? Far from it. Repeatedly quoting for unnecessary work is bad enough, but failing to do crucial checks on a service not only has cost implications, but can also have a serious impact on safety. On all 10 services, QuickFit failed to complete all the checks listed on their own service sheets. But that didn't stop them ticking each one off to say they had. They claimed to have checked the clutch on this car, even though it's an automatic with no clutch to check. On other cars, they didn't spot or rectify things like misaligned washer jets. They left this one just how we had set it, aimed at passing pedestrians. Oh dear, did I get you wet? Did I wet you? On others, the light bulbs we had displaced were completely missed and door hinges were left ungreased. Now, they're all simple things. Not putting them right isn't going to cause an accident. But on some cars, QuickFit also failed to make two checks vital on any service, tyres and brakes, both of which have big safety implications. It wasn't just nails or cuts in tyres that they missed. QuickFit had written incorrect pressures for at least one tyre on the service sheets for seven out of our ten cars. On four cars, they were low enough to potentially affect the handling of the vehicle. Just how crucial is it to check tyres as part of the service? It's absolutely vital. It's a basic element of any service. The tyre puts you in contact with the road. It's the last point of contact, isn't it? If that's not right, then you've got a safety implication. John, of these cars we sent in, some of them came back with underinflated tyres, some of them came back with the spares that hadn't even been checked, yeah. punctures, cuts in the walls of the tyres. No, these are the basics of any servicing procedure, and it's been missed. It potentially allows vehicles to go on the road in an unsafe condition. So, that's the tyres. What about the brakes? All these services, part of the service was a full brake check. That means examination of the brakes, a physical examination, hasn't been carried out in many of, the, many of the cases. In fact, five out of the ten hadn't had all the items on the braking system checked properly. And if you're wondering how we know, have a look at this. Everything in this area tells me straight away this wheel hasn't been off, even down to the cobwebs. To examine a brake, you need to take the wheel off. But it's clear QuickFit hadn't touched the wheel on this car. Not only were the cobwebs still there, but marks we had put on the wheel to determine whether the wheel had been moved during the service were in exactly the same position when the car came back. On three of the cars, QuickFit gave us incorrect measurements for the brake discs or pads. On this Volkswagen Golf, we put silicon on two of the wheels. Again, it was undisturbed after the service. These brakes had not been fully inspected. More crucial checks that QuickFit claimed to have carried out not according to our expert. The cars should always be serviced 
knowing that they may not be seen again for another year. So the brake examination should be very, very thorough. Without the full brake check, which wasn't carried out, you don't know the condition of the brakes. Simple as. So, false information on the service sheets and vital tyre and brake checks not completed. Any good news? Of the 10 cars that went in for service, not one of them came back with a satisfactory service having been carried out. So, not good news at all then. Well, Dom's here now. What did Quick Fit say? Well, this afternoon, Annie, they sent us a statement. They say they take our allegations seriously. They will be examining them in detail and interviewing their staff. They seriously dispute some of our findings, but they accept that in some areas they haven't lived up to the standards they set themselves. And they apologise to any customers who feel let down. They promised a range of new measures, including increasing spending on training by a million pounds, and they're going to double their mystery shopping programme. In other words, doing anonymous spot checks. They add that they serve over 4 million customers every year and they have a satisfaction rating of 97%. OK, and those quick fit customers who had work recommended that wasn't needed, um, some were hundreds of pounds. It certainly was. I mean, I mean, that's a lot of money. And what they say to that is they provide their staff with written guidelines to help them make accurate diagnosis and give proper advice. They have a zero tolerance policy on recommending unnecessary work and any proven cases will result in disciplinary action. OK, we shall be keeping an eye on that. Yep.